Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to, uh, this is gonna be a very different video. We're not gonna put a whole lot of production into it. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on what happened yesterday. So for those of you that don't know, I'm sure by now everyone does know, Hidomi Tsunu is, ha has passed away. Uh, she, is, she was the voice actor for Bulma in the Japanese version of Dragon Ball through Dragon Ball Super, everything Dragon Ball, every time Bulma was on screen, that was the voice behind her. First of all, before we get into, I wanted to talk about the impact that the character of Bulma, especially Tsudu's version of Bulma, had on my life. But, you know, as a way to kind of honor her, I don't really know how else to do it, and I really want to do something, you know, to kind of express how grateful I am for what she brought to me personally, and hopefully other people uh, feel a similar way. But first I wanted to address, for everyone that's making negative comments in any way, shape, or form just to be controversial, just ignore those people. They're not worth the time. Don't let them hurt you more than you're already hurting. You know what I mean? Because this sucks. This really sucks. Don't let people take advantage of that weakness that you feel from, from the morning. And also, there's a lot of people asking about the future of Super or if we're going to get a replacement for Bulma. Now is not the time. An actual human being has passed away. Let's, let's remember to send positive vibes, to pray, whatever you do, um, for her loved ones, for those who knew her, for those that knew her personally, for those that worked with her directly. Um, let's give let's give mourning a chance before we start asking about that. But also, if you're a YouTuber or you're in the public light and people are asking you these questions, realize that they're not necessarily um, trying to be insensitive. They might just not know how to cope in any other way. For me personally, I know nothing else about Sudu's work than... Uh, her work with Dragon Ball. So for me, she kind of was Bulma, but she she isn't just Bulma. You know, Bulma is a character that she did at her job. It's something that she did. It's not who she was. So let's give let's give a chance to honor who she was as a person before worrying about the future of a character that she played. Anyway, so as you guys know, Bulma is kind of a meme on my channel, and I would like that to I would like us to put that to bed for. A little while, but I'm still going to be featuring her in Viewer Box Wednesday. The reason I picked Bulma for Viewer Box Wednesday is obviously there's a pun in there based on the way she used to act when she was a teenager in Dragon Ball, as well as just multiple other things. But the other reason is that I kind of wanted her to become the stable because Bulma is a very, very important character. And if it weren't for Tsudu's performance with Bulma, maybe that wouldn't have been quite the case or she wouldn't be as compelling because a big chunk of what makes Bulma interesting is the vocal delivery, the actor behind her, and that was Sudu. So for me anyway, Sudu is Bulma for me. That's, that's who Bulma is. That voice, that's, that's Bulma for me. The English dub is fine. I'm, I don't want to take anything away from them, but that's, that's my Bulma right there. And, um, and I, I love Bulma as a character. She's, She's funny, she's, she's intelligent, she's strong, she's, uh, she's got a wide range of emotions that she displays. And it's really interesting because Sudu started off with kind of like the slapstick stuff. Think about how wide and weird anime faces get when, when uh, strange things happen, especially in more of a comedic sense. She had to come up with a sound for all of those faces to to really show the absurdity of the situation. And she did an, an amazing job with that. And then as the show progressed, as it matured, as it got darker and things like that, when she had to cry, when she had to be very, very scared, when she had to be concerned, uh, when she had to be angry, um, you know, she was able to adjust to that and make it very convincing every time. Bulma as a character never pulled me out of the scene because Tudu's performance was always so convincing. You know, you could hear when she's yelling and when she takes a deep, like quick, sharp gasp of air to get the next line out. It's because she's in the studio screaming and yelling with just as much emotion as the guys are when they're powering up. Like she was on par with with all of your favorite voice actors. And you can tell because while these are things you might not think about, the fact that you never you never hear, oh, that was a weird vocal performance means that she was doing her job perfectly. And she definitely, she definitely did her job very, very well. Now, what Sudu brought to me is that Dragon Ball has been with me for 
a very, very long time. Since I was a kid, through my preteens, through my teenage years, uh, not as much as a young adult, but especially now that it's been kind of coming back, uh, it's been with me stronger than ever now. And uh, Bulma's a big part of that. Bulma's a big, uh, a very important character in the series. It has maintained her relevancy, even though it's you know more geared towards the fighters and the guys now um, than it used to be. Bulma still has staying power, and uh, you know Tsudu has made me laugh when I was at, when I was feeling very low. She's given me hope, you know, like in the with the whole future Bulma and future Trunks kind of thing. You know, she was able to maintain that that concern but hopeful optimism kind of thing that future Bulma is supposed to have. You know, she's given me a lot of very positive emotions when I was in a very bad place. And so I just wanted to I just wanted to say how how appreciative and grateful I am to have had her in my life, even though it was a very indirect way of having her in my life. Having the character that she played that meant so much to me, that brought me so many good moments. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. And I, you know, I, I'm going to remember these things. I'm going to remember the times that she made me smile when when nothing else was doing it. So this could very well be this quote. This could very well be the last that we hear from her. Uh, I don't know if she did any other work on anything else since this time, but this is the last line that Bulma spoke in Dragon Ball Super and might be the last line that she has ever, that she'll ever perform for the show in general, because I don't think Bulma is going to be back anytime soon. And um, I kind of, I kind of want to sort of transform this in the way that Bulma is wishing everybody good luck and counting on everyone to protect Earth and and um, and the universe just in general and come back safe and all that kind of stuff. I would like to think that Tsunu can count on us to not let this hold us back. I don't think she would want us to be held back by this. I think she would want us to keep pushing forward. I think she would want us to remember all those good moments, all the times that she made us laugh, all the times that she made us cry, all the times that she made us feel joy when we were in dark places. I would think that she can count on us to do that. And she can count on us to grow stronger as a community from this rather than letting this tear us apart in any way. This is not a dub versus sub debate. This is not a... What's, what's next for Dragon Ball debate? This is, we were very, very blessed to have her be in our lives in this way. And we should honor that. And we should honor her and send positive vibes to her family and her loved ones. Please. Anyway, in the spirit of remembering these great moments that she brought us, in the comment section below, if you're gonna say, if you're gonna say anything, um, Let's please keep it positive, but especially let me know your favorite Bulma moment. Um, you know, let's remember all of these wonderful, wonderful moments together. And um, let's come out of this stronger than we were before. All right, guys, thanks for watching.